In this video, we will solve systems of equations with three variables, where it might not be as obvious which variable can eliminate first. To eliminate a variable, you may remember from addition, we may have to multiply one or more equations to get the opposites we want. Let's take a look at an example where we have to do just that. In this problem, if we have equations 1, 2, and 3, no variable eliminates quickly. So at this point, we can choose whichever variable we want to eliminate. You may notice we can quickly multiply 2 by something to get 6, and 3 by something to get 6, so we might decide to pick on the variable x. Ultimately, we can pick on whichever variable we want. To eliminate x, we might use equations 1 and 2 first. Equation 1 has 2x minus 2y minus z equals 8. Equation 2, 6x minus 3y minus 3z equals 27. We said we had to multiply the first equation to get the opposite of 6 by negative 3 on both sides. Now, the first equation is negative 6x plus 6y plus 3z equals a negative 24. The second equation is still the same, 6x minus 3y minus 3z equals 27. Adding those together, we'll get 6x's subtracting out, and conveniently, the 3z's also subtracting out. Our first equation, then, becomes 3y equals 3. This is our equation a. Again, we will eliminate the same variable a second time to eliminate the x. We can't use equations 1 and 2 this time. We need a different pair. You might notice equations 2 and 3, we can quickly eliminate x by multiplying the last equation by 2. So let's do that using equations 2 and 3. Equation 2 was 6x minus 3y minus 3z equals 27. Equation 3 was negative 3x minus 5y minus z equals negative 15. By multiplying the second equation there by 2, we'll end up with a negative 6x to eliminate it a second time. The first equation is unchanged. 6x minus 3y minus 3z equals 27. The second equation, when we multiply by 2, is negative 6x minus 10y minus 2z equals negative 30. Adding those equations together, we get negative 13y minus 5z equals negative 3. We've eliminated the same variable a second time, and so that becomes our equation b. Now we're ready to solve this system together using a and b. a, we found out, was simply 3y equals 3. Put it in purple, 3y equals 3 and b was negative 13y minus 5z equals negative 3. By using our strategies of multiplying by a constant, we're able to eliminate the same variable twice, even if there wasn't a clear opposite to get rid of. In part 2 of this video, we will continue solving a and b in order to find out what y and z are, and then ultimately what x is.